where is college game day going for week number six? We go through these predictions every single week. Uh, we have not hit on one yet. Uh, I thought last week that Arkansas was going to win, and therefore game day would be in Fayetteville because they didn't want to be getting soaked over in Clemson, South Carolina. But, alas, Arkansas lost. Didn't really have much of an option. You've got NC State going to Clemson. Let's look at next week's games. Uh, we have got a huge slate. You got Red River. You got uh, Florida State at NC State. You got Texas A&M and Alabama. I think there's only four spots that you could go. If you want to go to Tuscaloosa, if, if A&M finds a way to beat Mississippi State, which is not out of the question, obviously, then yeah, then you can go to Tuscaloosa. Might be your only chance. You got a, a huge storyline with Jimbo Fisher going back to Tuscaloosa after all the mess that happened back in May of this season, right? This season, uh, this uh, this year. I mean, that could be an easy sell, right? You haven't been to Alabama yet this year. You did follow them to Austin, Texas, but you haven't been to Tuscaloosa. And I don't know that there's anybody left on the schedule, at least for home games, that you would make it back to Tuscaloosa. So that might be your spot. However, do you go there if Texas A&M is coming off of a loss to Mississippi State. And I don't know that you can. So if that were to happen, do you go over to Red River, where Texas already has two losses, Oklahoma has a loss, and both of them are playing teams that they could easily lose to this weekend? I mean, do you do you possibly do that? Uh, you got me. Uh, which, by the way, Alabama, uh, yeah, uh, if, you, if you're going to go to Alabama... A&M is the spot uh, because they play on the road at Tennessee. They play at LSU. They play at Ole Miss. The only home games left are uh, Mississippi State, Austin P, and Auburn. That's it. So, And I don't think you're going to Tuscaloosa for any of those. So if you just have to go to Tuscaloosa, yeah, next week would probably be the week. If you go to Red River, you've got one team that is out of the top 25 and another that just got beat at home by Kansas State. So, uh, but Red River's always a good time, regardless. Florida State at NC State could be very interesting next week, but do you go to an NC State game twice? And I think if you're going to do that, you need Florida State to beat Wake Forest, and you need NC State to beat Clemson. Are both of those things going to happen? Mm, more likely not than so. Uh, so maybe, at this point, if you get Kansas to beat Iowa State, regardless of what happens with TCU and Oklahoma. Uh, TCU is heading to Lawrence next week. Possibly. Possibly. You finally get Kansas college game day. And I think it would be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, because I think the crowd would be amped up. The point of these shows is to give you entertainment value as a fan sitting at home. You don't really care where the location is, honestly. You just want fans that are hyped up. And every time you go to Columbus, every time you go to Tuscaloosa, every time you go to Athens or whatever, yeah, there's some students that are really amped up and whatnot, but it is not like a huge community thing. You go to Lawrence, Kansas for the first time, and it's going to be off the walls. So Kansas is a, they're an underdog at home this weekend. I think they can beat Iowa State, but that is where I think I think we're going. I think they're probably going to do Tuscaloosa, uh, but of course we got to get Alabama to uh, to beat Arkansas this weekend and get A and M to beat Mississippi State. Otherwise, it's just all a free for all, all a free for all. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.